सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल विच इज़ एक्सट्रीम ऑटोमेशन बाय कमल गिरधर सो यू कैन सब्सक्राइब ऑन दैट चैनल एंड देन यू विल बी रिसीविंग नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑल द वीडियोज दैट आई पोस्ट रिलेटेड टू ऑटोमेशन so we have spoken about how to fill up this form using excel vba and this is the code that we have written in the last video now let's say we have a new problem statement that we have this data present in our excel sheet which is having records for multiple people and we want to fill up data for all these one by one right so you can see four records but you can have more number of records you need to use the same code and you want to fill up form for all these people so definitely our code will remain same the only thing that we need to do is we need to put it in a loop and then we need to read the content from excel one by one and then pass it on to the commands that i have used for filling up the information so let's see what is the part we need to change here in the code so you can see here i have navigated to url here after initialization but what i'll do is i always need to get to this url for every iteration so what i do is i put a loop here and i take that navigate statement inside that for loop so for i equals 2 because my row number starts from 2 and i want to navigate till last row which is having data i mean fifth row in this case so sheet 1 dot cells rows dot count comma 1 end dot excel up dot row this will take me to the fifth row it will give me the row number of the last element which is having data the entire part after that i keep inside the for loop and i end this for loop with the next statement now there are few things i need to change inside the loop as well you can see here i navigated the, to the url and then i wait for it and then i set the document then i fill up the name now this name cannot be hard coded i need to read it every time from the sheet so sheet 1 dot cells that particular row so i is that row number comma 1 dot value so this is how name would be coming dynamically from the sheet now the name was the easiest part to change here in the code because the name was getting picked from a cell only but for the other things we need to change some logic for the age part that is bit tricky so i'll be speaking about it in the end first let's jump over to gender part that's also bit tricky that because we have values like male female and the other value so let us for now discuss about male and female let's assume that we have only two values so i put a if else condition that if it is male if the cell value is male then click on the locator which i have used earlier because i have specifically clicked on the male input box earlier and in the else block i use the locator for female radio button and i click on that so that's how i would be able to click on male if the value of cell is male and i would be able to click on female radio button if that value is female you can have a select case or multiple if else conditions to increase the number of criteria that you have next we talk about the check boxes now handling check boxes is bit different than radio button because for radio buttons we knew that there would be only one selection out of these two or three but for check boxes we can have one selected we can have two selected we can have all three selected so that's why we cannot put the code in the else block and i have used all three if conditions separately and if the value of that cell is y then i am clicking on that check box so if it is not y then it won't be performing click operation so we are done with name we are done with gender radio buttons we are done with own check boxes right now let us jump over to the most important part here which is the drop down list because the drop down list is having values in the text format but the selection that we are making here is in the form of index so we need to get this index number based on the values first of all and then we need to provide that index number to the code so let us now see how we would be handling this age drop down list so i run the code and i added a breakpoint to see all the properties for this element right so remember this is the select tag that we have used and on the select tag to select the options under it we were using selected index property so i open up the watch window and i expand the selection that i have added in watch so i can see here under this all we have seven items right so remember on the list also we had seven ele elements starting from index 0 till 6 right and we were selecting the fifth one which is having index 4 all right so let's see what happens if i use dot 
items one so when i use items one it give me one element right which is the second element on in the list and if i use dot text property i'll get the text of this particular element which is 5 to 10 years so we are somehow able to access each element in the drop down list and we are also able to reach read the text as well so we can take action on the basis of these properties so let us first of all create a collection of all the elements so set lms equals ht dot get element by id and then after putting this id i use dot all right so i know that this would be giving me all the elements under it so it would be giving me seven elements under it now i want to iterate through all the elements so i use for each loop so for each lm in this set of lms and it ends with next what i need to do is i need to let's say display in message box the value so message box lm dot text now when i run this i get the text for each element under that So this is the text which is written in that excel sheet also for each record and we need to put a condition that if this text matches with what is written for that row in the excel file in that case use that element index and select that element so right so i put a condition here that if lm.text equals sheet 1 dot cells i comma 2 which is i throw second column dot value in that case ht dot get element by id and then the id dot selected index equals right so i need to put the index number here so i can directly use lm dot index to get the index number all right so this is how i have parameterized it and it would be working for all the records so before we run the code we need to make sure about one thing that whatever value we have in this excel column these values should match exactly with the values that we have in the drop down list so we need to go to html source and validate if the values are exactly same or not and if these are not exactly same either we need to handle those things in the code itself otherwise we need to first manipulate the data so for now i simplify the code for you and i assume that all these values are exactly matching with what we have in the excel sheet and i also add an exit for here that when it finds the match and it selects that element in the drop down list it should exit out of this for loop right so when we run this code you would see here it has selected the right value in the drop down and then it selects the gender and then it selects the check boxes right so then it will wait for 15 seconds and then it will come to the next statement now let's see what will happen with the second record so it goes to the navigate part it opens the same url again it waits for page to load now it fills up the name which is the second name it tries to select from the drop down the second one which is 45 to 60 in this case it selects the gender it selects the check boxes and then it comes to third one for third one you can see again it navigates to the url and let's see if i run in continue mode so it has filled up james 30 to 45 male and all his check boxes and then it works for Linda. So that's how we have filled up this form for multiple people. Now we can also add a step to click on the submit button. Once you perform all the four operations, you can add a step to click on that submit button, right? So what will happen is after clicking on submit button, it will wait for five or 15 seconds, whatever weight you have added there. And then it will move back to the second iteration or the next iteration and it will reload the URL and then it will wait for page to load and then it will fill up information for the next record so it will keep on doing until it finishes for all the records so that's how we can fill up the forms for multiple records and that's the use of the loop statements and conditional statements in data scraping or i would say web automation using excel vba so i'll see you in the next video